Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got some new books. One is The Horsewoman by James Patterson and Mike Lepica. And um, it's large print, so that's kind of nice for some of us. I can't usually see the print anymore. So unless you're reading on a Kindle, these are really fun to have. And it's about the world of high level, you know, jumping and showing horses. And in this case, it's a mother and a daughter who are trying to avoid competing, but end up in a position where they have to compete against one another. And it talks about three generations of horse women, and it sounds like it might be a good story. We've got Diane Chamberlain's The Last House on the Street. And this is one of those dual timeline books where you've got one of the stories is set in 1965, and then one of the stories is set in um, 2010. And then the first one is about a character that's very involved with the civil rights movement. And then many, many years later, a family moves into the house next door and they suffer a tragedy and mysteries. And there's land between the two houses that is harboring some sort of secret. So this is a mystery. We've got Tin Camp Road by Ellen Airgood, and it's set in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, which is always fun. And it's about a single mother trying to create a life for her daughter in an area where the weather definitely bites her. And she's evicted from her home rather, you know, quickly without much notice. And somehow she's trying to struggle to support her child and herself, but also make sure she's there for her child. So definitely something some of us can identify with. We've got Winter World by A.G. Riddle. And this looks fun. It's a book about um, the world freezing. Apparently there's another ice age coming. So it's not the warming of Earth, it's the freezing of Earth. And scientists are scrambling to figure out what they can do as people move you know, away from the glaciers and trying to find habitable habitable parts of the world. And they notice that there's something on the edge of the sun that shouldn't be there, which makes them wonder if perhaps there are some extraterrestrials that may be actually trying to bring about the end of the world. So that's what we got. We'll have more next week. Thank you.